Hey guys, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom, and I'm here today to plan in my B6 TN for my social media planner. So the cover is the um, the cover that came in a Simply Gilded sub box a while ago. Same thing with the little puff. So I'm going to come over here and pull out my inserts, which is the influential plans from Lights Planner Action. I think I can zoom in. All right, I brought you in a little bit closer just so that you are here. So what I've been doing all, all month in this planner is I've been doing very like pastel muted colors and I've really been enjoying that. So I pulled out all these pastel washies that I have from Simply Gilded and I really wanted to use silver, which is really not like me at all. But the thing is I've used gold and I've used rose gold in the three spreads so far. So for this week, I just thought it would be nice to do something different. So these came from, these came from a sub box. These I have purchased separately, um, but they are all, either silver or hollow. So that's what we are going to be working with. Um, now this is an undated insert. So what I'm going to do first is this up here is perfectly sized for 15 millimeter washi. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this 15 millimeter bow because I'm going to, I might not use the blue, but I'm definitely going to use the purple. And what I like, what I like to do is cover the, um, the title over here. So what I'm going to do is wear scissors. All right. So I've got my scissors. I'm going to cut just one bow. Oh man, I am shaking. I don't even know why. That's not even straight, but so, all right, I, I'll manage. No, I'm not gonna manage, hold on. Okay, got it fixed. Now I'm gonna take my Tombow Fudenosuke, Fudenosuke, um, brush lettering pen, calligraphy pen. This is the soft tip, I bought the, um, the two pack. So there's the hard tip and the soft tip. I typically prefer the hard tip, but I have that upstairs because that's where I use it mostly. And this is the one that is down here in my craft room. So I'm just going to hand letter July. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm going to have to turn it this way, take the washi and I'm going to have to overextend it because I miscut but I'm going to get this laid down. So I do want to take a quick second and just point out that I lined my straight edge, my straight edge, my gift card up with the lines of the planner itself because this is a lined insert so that I can make sure that I was slicing that evenly. Um, and then I use my Fiskars blade, which I like this one because I wear it on my finger. So I sliced it here along the um, that thing to make sure that I was getting, I, I just, I just wanted to do that. So now I'm going to take this and slice it. So if you have like a uh, metal ruler, that would work, but I don't. So I use this, it is empty. And I explain this in like all of my videos, if you watch them. But if you're new, I like to explain why I do the things I do. Um, so this is an empty gift card. And a lot of times I'm not, I, I can't really cut straight. So even when I'm using a straight edge and a lot of times I will slice it and come straight across here. So I don't want to use an actual gift card or credit card that is 
functioning because I'm gonna damage it. And also this is the internet. I'm not gonna use something that I that has actual money on it on camera. So yeah. All right, and then like I said, while we are getting this all done, I do want to lay the purple down. So I, it's just, I like having the extra color, really is what it comes down to. So, I, but I'm not going to lay it over here though. I like having it say daily tasks. Um, I like the script lettering of this insert. So I don't really want to cover it up that much. Alright, so I did end up coming back over here and putting this down. Um, I am going to take this Shooting Star Washi and I'm going to turn it this way just so that I am not slicing against here. So what I do is I'm going to take it and fill it into this top line because I'm actually not going to write a habit into this part of the habit tracker. Uh, I found that what I like to do is actually letter in the days of the week in this first one because it's just it makes it easier for me to um yeah so I just remembered I had forgotten about these shooting stars so obviously these two are not going to match at all but I feel like maybe one of these is the right color yes perfect so what I need to do, I need to date this because like I said, it's an undated insert. So I'm just going to pencil it, not pencil it in, but write everything in myself. I am using the right days, right? Yeah. 18, 20. Yeah. Okay. And then I want to have like a header. So I'm going to use the shooting stars that I found. If I can find the, uh, the end, there it is. And I'm going to use this as headers underneath each of these days because like I just I want to for headers and then I'm also going to use it as like a footer at the bottom of this box just I really just want to bring in color all right so I finally have all of the washi down I started off by slicing it with the Fiskars blade and it got really tedious so then I just started ripping it because you can rip washi so what I need to do now is I need to mark down all of my videos that I have going up for the week. So this video is going to be coming up over here on Monday. I actually, oh yeah. So I have an announcement video that should be going up on Tuesday. I filmed, oh man, this is, I filmed an after the pen spread and a flip through from last month. So something's going up over here. The the flip through got lost in the footage of the after the pen. <laughs> Cause like, yeah. This is going to be a recipe video. So I just put out a Cosmo video and this is probably gonna be a homemade daiquiri because I made it the other day and it was so good oh my gosh I've been all like on a lime kick this season like this summer so yeah and then this is the regular my like classic size disc planner thing so social media announcement I don't know which one this will be it'll probably be the after the pen because it's yeah and then this is going to be the recipe and then regular planner. And I use Fox and Pip coffee mugs, like little travel icons, um, to mark off my videos. Since I'm coffee planner mom, I just love that play on words. And then on Friday, I do have something else that I need to mark off. Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna use the shooting star washi. And I gotta decide which way this is going to go. So 
Okay. Took me a second. I have to remember, I, I'm going to make a flag and you fold your washi pretty side in on itself and then you're going to cut it on an angle so that the scissors are angled down and going, the higher end is the folded end and the lower end is the edges. There we go. Oh, that's, it's a good one, but like that is too small. Okay, that is better sized. So I'm going to put that, yeah, I guess I'll stick it up. Although because it's white on the bottom, you can't tell that it's whatever. Um, and then I'm going to use, oh gosh, which one do I want to use? I think I haven't used any of these yet, so I'll use that little guy. And I'm going to stick it right in the center of the flag. There we go. Oh, I forgot. That's Rose Colored Days, and it is silver foiled coffee icons. And then I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I want to get some flags down over here. Although, why am I going to do that? This is the pink. Yeah, it's not going to, it's not even going to show up. So maybe I won't do that. What I'm going to do instead is give myself some checklists on these days because I will need it and I'm probably off camera and I am just like so head down I can't see. Yeah, and I've got washi everywhere so yikes. We're just going to rip it. So these are vertical bows so I am able to, and they are lined up so perfectly that they fit in the lines of this planner itself. So this is again, Simply Gilded Washi. So, all right, there we go. So now I've got more, whoops, a little more of the pink. Not too much more, but I put checklists on all of the days except for Friday. Probably should have put one on Friday. Yeah, let me just put one on Friday anyway. All right, good. So now that is done. And then, yeah, what I'm actually going to do is just to try to bring in a little bit more of the pink, I'm going to put it at the bottom of this box. Yeah, I'm going to stick it and leave it in the box. So both of these boxes down here on this page that I put the uh, purple washi on, just kind of acts as like a dumping ground, like a brain dump, and isn't really terribly organized. So I don't need a ton of space here, but at least I know I have it. Do I need that many? No, I don't need that many. So I'm going to do the same thing and just block off the bottom 10 millimeters of this one, just so that I've got some more color. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's only going to block off two of the habits. I don't really need those extras. So that is fine. Okay. I think that's going to do it for this spread. I try to keep this spread like incredibly functional. So that's why like the decorations are pretty minimal. And it's basically just, so up here is for my videos and any other sorts of to-dos. These are the different pictures that I post. So I'll fill this in. So like on Monday, I'm going to need to post my social media picture because that's the video that's coming up. So that'll be the first thing that I put up here. And then when I post it to my Coffee Planner Mon Facebook page, I'll check it off here, my regular Instagram. And then if I share it to my stories and then I forgot. I actually do like to monitor posting it onto YouTube. So on the days that I have something for YouTube, I am going to just draw in a triangle. Oh, that one did not look good. That's all right. Uh, yeah, and then over here. So that's my really weak attempt at drawing the play button, but that's okay. So that is it for this spread. And I am really pleased with it. I think it came out really cute. I mean, 
cute. I like the fact that I used the pastel colors, but I think it even might be a little bit bright. Oh my god, look at those top bows. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. I could do this all day. In case you ever wondered why I use so much foil, I'm... Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, yeah, so that is going to be finishing it up for this spread. Nice and functional. So yeah, like I said, videos, regular to do's, the pictures that I post, kind of like a dumping ground. And then these are like everyday things that I need to make sure that I am doing daily. That's not like, yeah, I have a way that I utilize this planner. I really do. I promise. So that's going to do it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos because I have quite a few going up this week. Um, if you press the bell icon, it'll actually give you pop up notifications so that you'll know as soon as the videos go live. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram over there. I'm at Coffee Planner Mom and I will see you guys later.